Greetings Star Wars fans. Today we're bringing you the uh, Rogue One uh, two-pack assortment of action figures and in this one we're taking a look at the Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader and Moroff. Uh, these were uh, just put out at my local store and uh, really excited to have this so uh, let's go ahead and get right to the review. Uh, first of all, the packaging for the Rogue One figures and vehicles uh, is really nice. I really like the artwork with the uh, Death Trooper and the uh, TIE Fighters in the background. It just it really, really nicely done and uh, a great collectible uh, to, to keep uh, around for years. And uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you can see that there is a uh, uh, little sticker slash advertisement for the uh, Star Wars uh, video app that Hasbro has released uh, with a preset animation that you can unlock and videotape your action figures. That's really cool. The lower right hand corner details more off with the uh, large heavy weapon accessory. We'll take a look at that. And, uh, you know, just some really nice artwork there on the uh, front of the box. Uh, but more so is the action figures. Even though they are five points of articulation, uh, they have some extremely nice paint apps uh, on each of them, and uh, they look really nice, really detailed, and uh, can't wait to open the box and, and look at them. On the back of the box, of course, is your obligatory product images. Uh, at the top, it details the action figures with brief bios. At the bottom, it shows the uh, uh, Hasbro Movie Maker app. Uh, you can download it on the App Store or Google Play. So right now we're going to pause the video and open the packaging and come back and see what these guys are all about. Stay tuned. Guys, we're back with the Star Wars Rogue One uh, two-pack assortment uh, of the uh, Scarif Stormtrooper Squad Leader and the Rebel Fighter Moroff. And uh, out of the packaging, these action figures look really nice, uh, especially on the Stormtrooper. You can see that there is a lot of... Uh, nice detailing to his armor, uh, different color variations that they use. So we'll begin with him. Uh, the uh, shore troopers, as they are called, are a specialized unit of stormtroopers that are assigned to the uh, Imperial Military Headquarters on the planet Scarif. Uh, Scarif is the tropical looking planet that we've seen in the uh, Rogue One trailers. And these guys patrol the beaches and bunkers and that sort of thing. Uh, this particular figure is a uh, squad leader variant. One of the things I want to point out is that his uh, chest and abdomen armor uh, are similar to the scout trooper armor that we see in Return of the Jedi. Uh, of course, he has a uh, different helmet uh, that he is using. Uh, he also does not have a lot of armor on his legs. Uh, he has some uh, shin armor there, but his upper legs have no armor whatsoever. Uh, rather, he's heavily armored uh, upon his chest and his abdomen area, and that may be due to the environment that they operate in. Uh, I'm uncertain what type of blaster rifle he's using. It looks like a variant on the E11. Uh, it has a different type of barrel configuration, and uh, looks like it has a uh, holographic sight, and it has a uh, uh, collapsible stock on it. And these figures are five point of articulation, but they are very, very nicely done. And you can see they have great paint applications on them. Uh, I have been told that they're supposed to be a uh, Walmart exclusive 3.75 inch black series figure of the uh, Scarif Stormtrooper as well. On the right, we have Moroff, the uh, Rebel Mercenary. Moroff is a new alien. Uh, many fans first thought that he is a Wampa. Uh, however, he is actually a Gygoran male. Uh, Wampas are semi-sentient beings, uh, but uh, this is a character that I'm really fascinated to see what type of uh, role he will take on. Uh, his bio lists him as a mercenary and heavy weapon specialist, and you can see the uh, heavy uh, blaster cannon that he has there. It looks like it has multiple barrels on it, and uh, he has what appears to be maybe some sort of chest regulator or chest armor there. And uh, I really like the uh, paint applications on his uh, feet down here, the discoloration, like they're dirty from walking in, in mud or sand. Uh, that looks really nice. But he's a, a really nice looking action figure, and he has this uh, webbing strapping around his back. 
Uh, so that, that's really nice. Uh, the other thing that's in the box is this. It is like a heavy dual blaster thing projectile launcher that Moroff uses. Uh, pretty much useless for me. Uh, I'm mainly into the uh, to the figures themselves and the smaller weapons that they carry. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Star Wars Rogue One uh, two-pack figure assortment of the uh, Scarif, uh, Stormtrooper, Squad Leader, and Moroff. Uh, thank you guys for taking the opportunity to watch my videos. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to leave your comments or questions uh, on my YouTube channel. You can also stop by my Facebook page, Orion's Belt Creations. I do a lot of fan fiction writing there. And I'm a contributing columnist for Outer Rim News. Outer Rim News is one of the leading Star Wars news websites today. They have 18,000 uh, subscribers worldwide. And there's a lot of great articles and information on there that range from commentaries and collectibles to the latest news in the movies. And I encourage you guys to uh, check them out as well. Uh, look for more reviews from Star Wars Rogue One in the days and weeks to come. May the Force be with you.